Chris want boom boom. Chris want gigantic boom boom. And that, my friends, is what's going to happen today because we're going to be talking about the cannons. One of the most interesting towers in the game, and the reason why is because it does have a lot of weaknesses. In most situations, it can't pop blacks. It can't pop camos at all. It can't pop a lot of balloons. It's just like can't really use it in a lot of situations. It kind of misses a lot, so like, it seems pretty bad, right? Well, when you stand away from it and you look at it like that, yeah, it is pretty reasonably bad, but if you use it correctly, if you're getting the max popping power out of this tower and you combine him with other towers that are really, really good, and where you use him late game, he can be one of the best towers in the game, and that's why I'm going to show you guys, again, the cannon and the ninja. You guys noticed my strategy from, uh, my ninja video, I talked about the cannon a lot because I think they're a really good combo. Of course, you can combine the cannon with a lot of other stuff, whether it's dart monkeys or engineers or something else that's something similar to, you know, a ninja. Yeah, you can use them quite effectively, but I still like I still like the ninja the best, and that's why I'm going to use him in this video because I feel like I should show you guys one of the best ways to use him, of course. So... What we're going to be doing here is we're going to start off with, of course, a banana farm. Now, this guy's going to start off with a, uh, a quick dart monk over there. So we know he's probably going to rush us with red balloons, which is kind of sad. Because we're going to have to go for a cannon. We're going to have to start off the cannon instead of a, uh, a ninja, which we might like to start off with. So as you can tell, he is going to start off by sending out red balloons against us. What does that mean for us? Going banana farm plus cannon is a toughie. It's a very tough thing to do. But we will try it nonetheless. We're going to go for a quick cannon right here. Go shizzle. Pop him right into there. We're going to put him on close. And we're also just going to pop one of these road spikes down just to defeat some of these balloons. Now what I'm going to do here is I cannot really farm as well as I'd like to. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 uh, cannon, hopefully a 3-0 cannon, and then pop in a ninja right after that as well. And that will limit me a little bit because I don't get my second banana farm, which I like to get. But it won't be the end of the world by any means. So here we go. He's going to start rushing with pinks any second, I betcha. Actually, no, surprisingly, he's going to rush us with grouped blues, which is not that bad. We can actually pop grouped blues fairly easily, but I will combine him with a ninja, like I, like I was saying. So let's get our second tower here. We get the ninja going, and we feel pretty darn good about him. So here's the thing about the cannon. He does, like I was saying, have a lot of weaknesses, but when you talk about the fourth tier cannon, you have a 4-2 cannon, is one of the best grouped balloon popping power towers in the game. When you talk about a Moab Mauler, it's one of the best Moab popping power towers in the game. So when you really think about it, man, oh man, when you use him in the specific way that he is, he's meant to be used, he can be pretty darn amazing. Not just pretty darn amazing, he can be absolutely amazing. So we got Scan Strong already, let's get him upgraded just a little bit, just in case those uh, blacks start coming out. So there we go, we feel pretty good, right guys? I feel good at least. So now what we need to do is we need to start talking about... This guy's also anti-stalling. I don't know if you guys can tell. The, the rounds are going by very, very quickly. Uh, which is actually hurting him a little bit. I think he's planning on just rushing me really hardcore in round 12 or 13. At least that's what I'm guessing he's going to do. It's probably a pretty normal strategy for him. But we're going to hopefully get a 2-3 ninja going, and we can easily defend it with battle energy. At least, like I said, that's the plan. We'll see what, we'll see what actually comes down out of it. Um... So let's start talking about the cannons upgrades. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit differently because the two upgrades on the two the two lower upgrades on both sides are quite terrible. Honestly, you can use them in different ways to make them okay and I will of course talk about them, but in general, you just probably shouldn't use them that much. So, this guy's actually wow, this guy's actually killing me with freaking yellow blues. I thought the cannon would do a little bit better job. We had to get a 3-2 cannon right now. But I want to talk about the third tier upgrade. That is the most important thing to talk about. So we got the 3-2 cannon, which you guys can clearly see me using right now. He is fantastic. For, is he still rushing with these pink blues? What is he doing over here? I really don't understand his strategy. I don't understand his strategy at all. Is he trying to like keep me occupied or something? So we got the distraction here. We're going to go for a 2-3. Oh, now he's rushing with whites against me. Ha <laughs> ha. So we're going to have to use the battle energy really quick. Holy crap, dude. I really did not want to have to do that. But, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm just going to say, screw you. I'm going to start rushing this guy with some regen whites. And that should hurt him really, really bad, if not kill him. <laughs> yeah, Andrew Zoo, he was just way too aggressive. Oh my goodness. And he will end up surviving... ...for now. Until we send out... 
one, two, and a few zebras underneath it as well. And you know what? We'll sell the cannon while we're at it too. Just because we can. And now those zebras will end up killing him. He was just way too aggressive. It upset me a little bit that he was so aggressive, to be honest. I'm trying to just play a chill game over here. Just using the cannons a little bit. Trying to go late game with the cannons. And he's just rush, 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 rush. Well, especially with my farms, you know, because my farms are, are, you know, they're even harder to play with. But let's play another game in here. Get going, and play some assault mode, and hopefully use the cannons a little bit better this time. Um, because he was so aggressive, it really limited our ca our cannon playing abilities for sure. So, as I was saying, the three zero cannon is one of the best towers for grouped popping power. As you can plainly see, we've stopped a lot of yellows. We stopped a lot of grouped balloons that no other tower would be able to stop them that easily with that amount of money spent. We didn't really spend very much money on those things. So this guy's also very good. Seventy two and twenty seven. These people are just like, whoa, man. It's going crazy on me, so I don't want Dart Monkey. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go Dart Monkey Cannon, and let's use the Banana Farm. And we're going to mix in a Bloom Chipper. Actually, perfect. Absolutely perfect. We love it. But I will indeed start off with the uh, Banana Farms again, but this time I'm going to mix in a Cannon a little bit later on in the game. Uh, I'm going to get my Dart... I'm just going to at least start off the game with my Dart Monkeys, doing my normal Dart Monkey strategy, and show you guys the Cannon's a little bit better off uh, without, like without having tons of issues the entire game, you know? Now, the right tetted upgrade is the Moab Mauler, which, as I was saying earlier, it is a 10 times Moab popping power tower. So you get 10 times the Moab popping power that you normally would. Holy crap, dude, that's ridiculous. Absolutely. It is ridiculous. Ridiculously awesome and ridiculously amazing. Now, the, on the other hand, the Moab Mauler is not that great against one Moab. You know, if you have one Moab Mauler... Versus one Moab. He's really not going to do that much damage. But if you have one Moab Mauler versus five Moab Mauler, he still does the same exact amount of damage to those uh, Moabs. So, like, if you really think about it like that, like, oh, the one Moab Mauler, because he does grouped damage, he can do a lot more damage to these grouped balloons. So he's actually being smart again. Man, what's up with these smart people today? Just completely annihilating us with all these stupid balloons already down to 60 lives. <laughs> So sad. So we're going to have to get a second Dart Monkey over here. Up to 0-3. Chicka chicka boom boom. I'm going to rush this guy with some pinks as well, just because I can. Hurt him a little bit. We got our 0-3 Dart Monkeys going, so I feel pretty safe against these guys. Now, he's only got one one uh, banana farm, so that's really keeping him uh, uh, way lower on the economy scale than us. And he finally gets his, his second Dart Monkey over there. Still trying to defend these because I'm just going to keep on rushing with the pinks. Making, but yeah, I wanted to make sure he bought that 0-3 Dart Monkey. So we'll, again, limit him on the banana farms even further. And we get our third banana farm. I feel like this is like my my uh, normal videos because I'm like playing really aggressively. Because I don't want to lose while trying to explain how to use a tower and how to use them effectively. So this guy's going to finally rush us with some green balloons. So let's pop in our cannon. We're just going to pop in our cannon right here. And I'm going to put him on close. Actually, I probably could put him better a little bit a little bit better spot on the inside there, but I was kind of hoping that once I get the 3-2 cannon, it'll reach over to the other side as well and be even more powerful. Even more powerful than he was before. Uh, and I'll probably end up getting my third tier cannon for sure by round 10 and maybe by round 8, depending on if he rushes me with yellows or not. If he rushes me with yellows, I'll just get the third tier cannon just to be on the safe side. If he doesn't, why not? We'll wait it out. And it looks like he's not going to rush us because he just got that second banana farm. Um... So, oh, he's going to rush us with, with some regrow yellows. Interesting, but not enough to do any damage. And we get the cluster bombs anyways, so screw you. One, two. Oh, he's going to rush. So look at this guy. He's just very aggressive. He just really wants to do those 39 lives of damage. I've noticed this a, a lot lately, is that a lot of people just keep on rushing and rushing and rushing once, you, once they see these 30 lives, 40 lives or whatever. And then they don't, they don't kill you because you have a good defense already with a ton of money. So I'm going to go for a second third tier cannon right here. And now we went for regrow picks. What is what does this guy think? I honestly don't understand why this guy would do that. Why would you do that this late in the game? I'm just going to rush the scout zebras and kill him again. These people are getting too greedy and they're making me angry. They're making me angry. This is, not, this is not this type of video. I'm supposed to be explaining to the cannons and how to use them effectively. Alright, so we don't have that great of camera detection yet. Let's get a quick juggernaut. We'll go jugga jugga juggernaut. Or why not I'll just say some zebras? Oh, 
There we go. We got the Juggernaut going. We got our, our super crazy battle energy going. This guy's going to lose tons of lives, and he will end up dying. All right, perfect. So we defended that Regal Rainbrush really easily, and and we also killed him at the same time. So it's making me look good as a player, but it's not making me look good at using cannons. Um, as you can tell, we stopped those grouped rushes really, really easily, though, with two through tier cannons. Just a few dart monkeys. We didn't need much. We stopped that Regal Rainbrush like that. Didn't even make it around the triangle once, let alone hitting all five points before it leaves. So let's, and I know, triangles don't have five points, but that's the way it works. It goes around the triangle like twice. So hopefully, for the love of everything that is good, we need to talk about the cannons a little bit more today. Oh my goodness! All right, so let's start talking about the cannons. Now we have this, the one zero upgrade, which is the f the uh, uh, frag bombs upgrade, and he is. You know, let's talk about the right side first. Let's talk about the right side first. You have bigger bombs, and you have the missile launcher. Bigger Bombs is $400. You should never get that upgrade until you have a third tier cannon, as I was saying earlier. Unless you're getting a Moab Mauler. Then you're just getting him just because you need a Moab Mauler. What about the Missile Launcher? You should never get that, that upgrade unless you're getting a third tier cannon on either side. Quite obviously. So those two upgrades, like, you don't really use them. Are they effective? Yes. What's the difference between a third, a 3-0 cannon and a 3-2 cannon? There is actually a pretty big difference there. Um, you don't miss as much, and you shoot faster, and the explosions happen faster. So obviously, in that scenario, yes, the 3-2 cannon is better. Do you need him all the time? Not really, because it is $800 more than what you already have spent on the tower, and usually it's just not worth it or necessary to get that upgrade. But it is effective, and it is useful, even though you don't see me use it that often in a lot of my games. Um... I did not even look at this guy's record or anything. He is gonna rush us with balloons again. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious. So we're going to pop in our 03 Dart Monkey. And I might end up using a 00 Cannon today in combination with this guy. This guy's going to rush me with a bunch of blues and everything. I'll just use a 00 Cannon after I get my second Banana Farm. Uh, and then what about the uh, left-sided upgrade? So let's get the Cannon here. Let's go Shizzle. So we've got the... Oh, excuse me. I didn't I didn't mean Frag Cannons as my 1-0 upgrade earlier. I meant it as the extra range. So as the extra range upgrade, what does it mean? What does it do? Is it good? Self-explanatory. It's $200 if you want some extra range, get it. Or, you're going to need him if you're going to go for a third tier cannon. Now, beyond that, you have the Frag Bombs, which is one of the really interesting upgrades of the cannon. The only time you'd actually get the Frag Bombs upgrade by itself is if you're planning on uh, popping blacks with a cannon. It's one of the easiest ways to pop blacks with a cannon. It's kind of a weird way to do it, but it is possible. So this guy is again... Man, these jerkalicious people today. So mean to me. Rushing with pinks and everything. Obviously, you can tell they're playing pretty well, but they're just playing really, really aggressive. In fact, both players were just too darn aggressive. Getting me down to 50 lives and 40 lives doesn't kill me. So again, the Frag Bombs upgrade, it's pretty good because it does it does something different. It adds frags to it. You know, you already have an explosion, but now you're adding something that actually popped through other layers. So it's interesting because it does have the eight frags coming out of it. So, um... Getting those extra 8 pops might be nicer. I, I think it might even be, be more than that. I'm not entirely sure exactly how many pops it does, though. I just know that it is actually fairly useful. So now he's going to rush with some uh, blacks against me. So let's go for a cluster cannon over here, just to defeat these greens and everything. I'm also going to put this dart monkey on strong now. Get rid of those black layers, dude. Um, and we've talked about both of the third-sided upgrades already. We obviously know 3-0 cannon and 3-2 cannons are awesome. And we are, already know that Moab Maulers, they only have one use, really. You don't really want to use 3 you don't really want to use Moab Maulers until you get to at least round 18. If you ever see somebody getting a Moab Mauler before round 18, unless it's round 17, you know they're a bad player and you know that they don't understand the Moab Maulers at all. At all. If you ever see that, you know they're a noob. So do not ever use Moab Maulers, ever, until at least round 18. And usually, you don't want to get them until round 20. Moab Maulers at round 18 are not the most effective power to use against Moabs. So you're usually not going to fight grouped Moabs at that point. They're only good against grouped Moabs, unless you get three or four or five of them, and then at that point, Moab Mollers should just good against everything. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit weird. I'm actually going to go for the fourth tier cannon. Now this is going to leave me kind of open for some uh, camo rushes, but I am okay with that. I am totally okay with that. I'm just going to go chicka chicka boom boom. I'm going to go for one more dart monkey up to 3-2. If you guys get rushes me with camo leads, I'll sell one of my banana farms and go for a uh, juggernaut. But here we go. 
fourth tier balloon impact cannon. Absolutely perfect. All right. Now you should never have a four zero cannon. If you're ever gonna have a four zero cannon, you're a nub cake. Get a four two cannon. Uh, four zero cannons. Yeah. I mean, if you're just getting the money for them or saving up the money for them, I understand that. So he's gonna rush us with some weird zebras or regrows or something. I really don't understand what he's doing. He's not gonna do anything to us at all. And I'm also gonna combine him with a juggernaut just because he can. Now is he really wasting this much money trying to kill me with a fourth tier cannon right now? What is he thinking? I don't know what he's thinking, but as you can tell, the fourth tier cannon in combination with all these things annihilates the balloons. One of the best balloon popping power towers in the game. Yes, amazing. Fourth tier cannon stuns balloons, keeps them in the same place, pops balloons, allows your other towers to do even more popping power. So yes, very very fantastic tower. Highly recommend it if you are at all worried about balloons. And you can also combine him in the late game as well with some Moab Maulers. We use the fourth tier cannon for the balloons. Use the Moab Maulers for the. Uh, 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 Moab pop power. And don't forget, even though the, I, I say the Moab Maulers are not meant for balloons, they can pop balloons. Don't forget about that, especially the ceramic layers. They're one fairly good tower at popping ceramic layers because they're going to have the frags. They're going to, you know, not only shoot the Moab Mauler shot, but they're also going to shoot out some frags. So that's also kind of nice. So I know I've been kind of all over the place with the cannons, but I feel like in general they're mostly self explanatory. And just note third tier cannons. Moab Mauler and 3-2 Cannon. Those are the main things, and if you really need to, go for a 4 tier Cannon. Now, on the other side, what about Moab Assassins? In general, you never want to get a Moab Assassin unless you're having to fight Izoma God. And in that scenario, you usually want to buy maybe one or two and then just sell them right after you use the Assassin ability. And then use that money for something else that's even better. Uh, but overall, I actually really do like the Cannons. I feel like they're very useful in a lot of situations. And, like I said, I just, I like him. So I'm just going to get a couple of Dart Monkeys in here, just in case he does decide to rush us with some uh, BFPs or something. I kind of hope that he does. So I'll Super Monkey Fan Club them and annihilate them. <laughs> and I'll feel good doing it, too. And he's got a really weird and kind of bad defense. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, but, yeah, for the Assassin, what he does is he, he shoots out a, his ability... By the way, a Moab Assassin is no different than a Moab Mauler besides the fact that he adds an ability. I know some towers have different abilities, um, have different like attack rates or something like that if you get him up to that 4th tier upgrade. He does not change at all, so there's really only one point to getting him if you plan on using the ability on some balloons. But yes, the Moab Assassin, you probably shouldn't use him on a Moab. It's not worth it. He's too expensive. You probably shouldn't use him on a BFB. Maybe, but all you're really doing is popping the BFB layer. You're not popping the balloon completely. Um... Against Zoma Gods, though, the Zoma Gods have a lot of health, and popping through the Zoma God layer is usually kind of hard to do. There's not that many towers that do really good um, Zoma God popping power. So in that scenario, okay, using a Moab Assassin is really not that bad of an idea. The cool thing is you can buy them and sell them and use them quite, e quite effectively because they're not that expensive. They're only $3,100 or whatever. To do, I think it's 1,000 damage to the Zoma God, which is a lot of damage. Now, it does not do any residual damage. It does not do any grouped damage, um, which would be nice if the Assassin did a bunch of grouped damage to these balloons, but sadly, like I said, it does not. So what I'm going to do here, because he does have blue chippers, I don't know, is that a BFB popping power balloon chipper? I think it might be, but the problem is he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any grouped lead popping power, so um, he's already using the battle energy, and now he's got to fight camo regrow leads. So that's, I don't know, we're just going to kill him here, whatever. Whatever, man, we got a bunch of money here, Super Monkey Fan Club, just because we can, and whoop, Super Monkey Fan Club. <laughs> All right, and Ramazan was pretty much no match for us. I'm sorry, Ramazan. You, you just, you just, you just got to do it for us. So overall, what would I give the the cannon? I don't think you should nerf it or change it at all. Um, if there was a, a new game coming out, I feel like you should change the fact that the cannon is really good against balloons and really good against Moabs. I don't really like that. You know, I kind of prefer if you took the Moab Mauler out of the game and gave us other towers that are better against Moabs or towers that are meant specifically for Moabs. Uh, but no, I don't think you should really change it in this game, and I do end up giving it an 8 out of 10, because even though it doesn't have any camera detection or anything, the things that it is meant for, it is really good at. It's really good against those mobs. It's really good against those balloons when you get the right upgrades for them. And that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you pressed like down there. I know, like I said, I was kind of all over the place, and I was kind of playing the games. I was, I'm, I'm playing to win, man. I'm not only talking about the cannons, I'm also playing to win. So, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.